All right, I'm in a bit of a sour mood on the next edition of the Drinkable Globe. Hi, I'm Jeff Cialetti, author of The Year of Drinking Adventurously and Beer FAQ, as well as the upcoming book, The Drinkable Globe. And this is The Drinkable Globe, the video version, not the book version, but you'll figure it out. I am in Lima, Peru, and I've been doing a fair amount of drinking, and most of it has involved Pisco, the national spirit of Peru, which is a grape brandy. And uh, it's most famous in the cocktail, the Pisco Sour. Uh, Pisco Sour is basically uh, lime juice, Pisco, of course, egg white and simple syrup and actually Craig my wife and I had the opportunity to learn how to make one and it was really really easy we went to a class where we also learned to make some pretty damn good ceviche over at a place called Embarcadero uh, 41 that's 41 the Pisco Sour is, is probably the most famous drink that Pisco's in however the Chilcano is really giving the drink a run for its money uh, the Chilcano is, is even simpler than the Pisco Sour. It's basically Pisco, a little bit of lime juice, uh, basically a few squeezes of a lime, and uh, ginger ale. And it's actually quite, quite refreshing. When we're here, it just happens to be Chilcano week, so they're really trying to promote the, the traditional beverage. Actually had a couple of really great Chilcanos at a bar called Bar Capitan Melendez. Uh, owned by Roberto Melendez, who's pretty well known in uh, cocktail circles. And a big thing that's really been happening with Pisco lately is infusions. Uh, it's been the last few years, people have really been infusing everything from coca leaves, don't worry, it's not gonna get you high, uh, to a star anise, to uh, ginger, to uh, lemongrass, you name it, they've been infusing it and it's been giving a little extra zing to a lot of different cocktails. Had a lot of great food, a lot of great Pisco, just completely fell in love with Lima. And the next episode we'll actually be heading to Cusco and Machu Picchu, so it'll be a whole other experience there. Remember to keep the conversation going on Twitter at Jeff Cialetti and Drinkable Globe and on Instagram at Drinking Adventurously. And remember to buy my books, The Year of Drinking Adventurously, your FAQ and the upcoming The Drinkable Globe, which will be in stores this fall. And wherever the road may take you, remember to grab the world by the glass.